idea of the Russian defense minister that would be a very strict, cold kind of person. Actually meeting him and finding that he's a fan. Oh, yeah. Ivanov, of the nice Russian to meet Federation. you. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. Good to meet you. Just... And he bought Love Me Do and he openly admits it. I was born in 1953. I am 50. But I still remember one autumn day in 1963 when I was 10, when for the first time in my life I heard a Beatles song called Love Me Do from their first album and in fact the Beatles songs motivated me greatly to start and study English. It's a great uh, satisfaction of people learning English through our songs. It's something we never imagined. But we, we never thought, yeah, but it's beautiful. Now we can see. It's great. It's really good and finally we come here and see it in practice. It is amazing, you know. In the 60s we did realize that one day our generation was going to be in power um, but now it's actually happened all right man so how does it feel cycling around here the day after feels great although we just got stopped by the russian police and the polit cycling bureau Objective oh, you it. You film here. You film here last night. I think we were doing a show here last night. You can't imagine exactly what it's going to be like to do back in the USSR in Red Square. It's a special sort of song for the Russians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on. Ruski. All right, man. Take it easy, yeah? Huh? Spasibo. As we got nearer and nearer to it, you start to realize. Wow, it's really a special song. It was banned and it was all very sort of forbidden. 
and suddenly out of the West, there comes this guy writing this song about back in the USSR. You must have thought, oh, they're writing about us, you know. Spasibo. Spasibo. Hey. Good show, huh? Я был вчера. Beautiful. You've been yesterday. А я? Я маме по телефону давал слушать. I called my mom and give her oh, a mobile did? phone. Oh. Okay, excellent. And I think some people wondered whether it was a bit of a Mickey take or whether it was a parody or why would I write something like that? For me, it was just fabulous just suddenly realizing all of that in the three minutes it took to sing the song. Just seeing them all right here, that whole stretching back there filled with people and then me singing back in the USSR and the place just went electric it's just like someone put electric current through the <laughs> and then of course you know I suddenly start doing the lines about Ukraine girls and Moscow girls and I think of course it's going to go down well here <laughs> <laughs> 